Hi there, I'm Ben, an RV technician here at Litson RV. Today we're going to be going through the infotainment center on pretty much all of our Mercedes chassis units. It's all touch screen, 9 inch screen. So I'm going to push menu. The very first thing we have here is the radio. We have bands, all that stuff on the right and left side. You have seek and tune in the middle and then presets down at the bottom. If you want to set a preset, just hold it. It will set to that preset. Now, if I push menu again, it's going to bring up all the options of this radio. So the next one over is media center. So media center, we can actually say file screensavers, you know, kind of whatever we want to, if we want to download stuff off our computer and then hook up to the HDMI cable and put it on here, we can. So this is where we would store that stuff on this system if we wanted to. Next one over is going to be your Sirius XM. On Sirius XM, if you want to subscribe to it, what we can do is go to channel zero. It's going to give you your radio ID number right there. So that's the number that they're going to ask for. And I think a lot of times they ask for the model and serial number of the coach too. But just go to channel zero. It will give you that radio ID number if you want to subscribe to that. Next one over is Bluetooth. So this is how we connect our phone to this system. So we can do our hands-free calling, listen to music, any of that stuff off that phone. It says no connection right now. Down in the right-hand corner, you'll see a little picture of a phone. I'm gonna push that. Now it's gonna bring your device up. You'll click on it if you're already connected to it. If you need to connect to it, push the phone and then push new. And now that puts the system in pairing. So then go on your phone and pair to this system. And that's how we do the Bluetooth with the phones. And then also when you're in Bluetooth, when you have the screen up on the right side here, it's gonna actually have your music there. So then you can play and pause all your music over there. Phone books, everything else will be in the middle, dialers. HDMI is there. That's hooking up to the HDMI port. Auxiliary, and just no video not used and then HD camera so this is going to be your rear view camera as you see right there your rear view camera is one camera but has three different views so if I touch the screen up top you'll see hitch normal horizon so if I push hitch that camera is looking straight down at my hitch pretty much if you're backing up to trailers backing into you know tight spots this is going to help you get right up there close if you want to normal is the one that we were just looking at that has the distance lines on there that tells you how close you're getting to something. Horizon gives you more like a fish view, kind of a bubble view, gives you a look back a lot further. A lot of times traveling, this is kind of nice because you can kind of see what's going on behind you. And then again, normal. And then anytime you put this coach in reverse, your normal option is going to come on. All right, if I push menu, iPod is no longer used on this system. And then we have Rab McNally. That's gonna be your navigation. You also have a navigation button over here on the left side. So for navigation, I'll push there. Gonna bring up that warning in your legal consent. Just say accept. All right, so this is the main menu of our navigation. Very first thing we'll do is go into the map. So this is what your map's gonna look like. It's got the little picture of an RV there. Starting on the right side, if I push that upper one there, it's going to tell you all of the food, gas stations, lodging, give you just a list of those. Push that same button, puts it away. Next one down is going to be turn by turn. If I had a destination programmed into here, it would give me turn by turn, kind of like MapQuest does. And then it allows you to look at all those turns, upcoming turns. Push that back. The plus minus here are zooming in and out of the map. So you can zoom way out if you want to see the whole country or if you want to zoom way into a city, you can do that too. The nine boxes in the right hand corner there are going to take you back out to that main menu where we first started. We have a direction, tells you what direction you're going. Next one up is going to be a Wi-Fi connection. So if I push that, it's going to search for any available wireless networks that we can connect to. So we'll connect to ours here at the dealership. Say okay, close on that. And then this is gonna allow us to look at weather, you know, find uh, fuel prices, stuff like that using the internet. 
up top. Like if I push weather, it's going to bring up all the weather in my local area. So it tells us, yeah, really cold here, eight degrees. And then it's going to tell you what Saturday, Sunday, Monday is going to be like, all that. So it gives you up to date weather. Then fuel prices, push on fuel prices. It's going to start out giving you normal fuel. Up here it says regular. So it's always going to say regular until you change it. So then we want to click on that one. Oh, I'm sorry, go down to filter. And then in here down at the bottom, you'll see diesel. Click on diesel and then push the back button. And now it's going to research for just diesel stations for you. And then that will tell you the price of those diesel stations that are close to you. Now we'll go back out of there. So a nice option. I mean, you can hook up to a Wi-Fi network and then get some general information. Over on this side, you have settings. That's going to be map settings. Um, what you want the voice to sound like. You know, there's quite a few other settings in there that we can do to the map. Up here, the miles per hour are going to tell you how fast you're traveling. And then I can also click on that. And it's going to tell me sunrise, sunset. Um, give me elevation. Give me total hours of the trip. Give you a bunch of information about your trip. Going back in. All right, so now I'll push the nine boxes. Uh, take me back out to the main menu. So now we'll go to RV tools. So RV tools, kind of a nice thing. We'll start with RV information. So if I click on that, what this is, is this is setting your coach up. Because this system is actually going to route you around tunnels, bridges, stuff you can't fit over, can't fit under, stuff you want to avoid. But it's going to ask you for length of your RV, heights, widths, general information about your RV. And then again, it's going to route you around all those things that you don't want to get stuck by. Go back. Warnings. Okay, what warnings are is all the warnings that this system has. So it's going to warn you of sharp turns, curves, hills any of that stuff. This is where we set up how far in advance we want it to warn us. I always tell everyone, I would run with it how it's set. And if you don't like one of them, then change it after that. But this is where we do all of it. And if you go down at the bottom, this is where those speed warnings are. So if you get really annoyed with her yelling, you're speeding, you're speeding, you're speeding, this is where you actually come and shut that off or raise it up or whatever you want to do with that. But down at the bottom is where you do that. Next one over is a quick planner. If you really quickly want to know how far it is from one city to another city without worrying about plugging it into your map, this is where we do that at. Go back. Road Atlas. So a road atlas is going to give you general information about the state that you're in. So if I click on, say, Delaware, it's going to tell me statehood, state capital. Push down, it's going to tell you state bird. Again, general information about that state. Back, back. Tell Rad is kind of a feedback. So they have like speed limit corrections, construction corrections. They want the feedback if their system's not telling you what it should be telling you. And that's kind of what this is for. Go back. Up above that, we have checklists, maintenance, trails, and fuel. So the very first one is checklist. There's a bunch of preloaded checklists in here. So again, let's start with campsite setup. So go there. So now we got all this stuff in here that we can customize any way that we want to. So you can remove stuff that don't apply to this RV. You can add stuff that apply to it. But it's kind of nice to have it on board that you can just come over here and put a check. I mean, do your final walkthrough when you're leaving to make sure everything's done. So all I would do is click on it, and it's going to put a check there. So kind of a nice feature. Go back. Next one on top up here is maintenance. Maintenance is kind of like a big notebook. We can say we changed oil at 10,000 miles. We did that 20,000, 30, whenever. We can write all that in here and then save those things. So then we have a general record of any maintenance stuff that we've done. Next one over is trails. So a trail is kind of like we can start a trail now. I could go drive through my town that I'm in now, go drive through there, and then save that trail. If I ever came back here, I would have a saved route that I could do if I wanted to. Fuel, so we can keep track of all the fuel for the years. And all you gotta do is go down here to add fuel. And then it's gonna ask you a bunch of information, odometer readings, date, location, station, price. And then it will help you fill, figure out current economy, average economy, 
any of that stuff. Go back, back. Okay, and then also at the bottom, you have a calculator and a converter also down here. Now we're gonna go back out. Okay, so now let's go in. So if we're gonna get ready to set up a destination, go to choose destination. All right, very first thing is new location. So this is where we put an address in. Click on that. You can either put an address, city center, or intersection. And then just follow the steps and then it will plug that into the map for you. Go back. Um, address book or history or if you save it in the ad address book like home or any of that stuff you can just click there and then click on those history will just tell you the past places that you've typed in multi stops is kind of nice because we can set our whole trip up prior to ever leaving our house so we can put 10 locations in there it will take us one by one to each location which is kind of nice then you don't have to mess with the whole time you're traveling points of interest I'm going to click on there. Points of interest is actually really nice. It's going to help you find anything that you want to pretty much. So we either can do it from my RV, which is where I'm sitting right now, a city, the route I have plugged in in there, or my destination. So we can do those four ways. We're just going to do my route, or my RV, sorry. Very first thing is campgrounds. This is kind of nice because it will help you find any campground in that area. You can either do all campgrounds or maybe you want state parks, national parks, national forests. Let's just do state parks. So under state parks, now it brought all the state parks up in this location. Say I want Pilot Knob, just right outside of town here. Click on that. Now it brings up this page. We can either begin a route to there. We can compare different routes of getting there. You can save this address to your address book or we can add it as a via. So adding it as a via, what that means is we already had a route programmed in there. If we add it as a via, it will take you there and then return you back to your same route that you already had plugged in there. So that's kind of nice. The other thing, it does give you a phone number up top, an address up top. Details on the bottom, if I click on that, it's going to tell you how many sites, if they have electric, if they have dump stations, give you some information about that campsite to decide if you want to go to that campsite. Maybe they don't have what you want, so this will help you find that. Go back. All right, let's go back. Back. And back one more time. Okay, next thing over is RV services. So in RV services, it's going to help you find the nearest dealer. If I click on that, it's going to ask you if you want RVDA dealers or just select other dealers, or you can just list them all. So maybe you have an emergency, just push list all it's going to help you find all the RV dealers in your area. Go back. And then it also will help you find all the dump stations. So if you're looking to dump your tanks or something, go to dump stations. It will bring up all the places that have dump stations. Some of them might charge for that dumping, but it will bring it up for you. Going back, back. Okay, so next thing we have is parking rest areas, border crossings. It's exactly what it says. It will find all those things for you and bring up all the closest ones to you. Travel center, same thing. We'll bring all of the closest ones to you. So if I click on that. So now it's bringing up any of them around here. Then we go back. Rab McNally editor's picks. These are some preloaded trips that Rab McNally puts in here for you. So if you want pre pet, friendly, pet friendly locations, fishing hotspots, this will help you find them. So they preloaded this stuff. Now it's gonna find those around the area that you chose. So if I want fishing hotspots, I would click on that. It's gonna find those fishing hotspots that are around this area. Going back, other categories. There's probably about 30 more in here. It's gas stations, diesel fuel, shopping, restaurants, airports, and again, like I said, this is pretty much going to help you find whatever you want to in the area you're, there, you're in. Golf courses, whatever you're looking for. Go back, go back, back. Oops. And then back in choose destinations. Okay, the other thing we have is Rabbit McNally trips. So you can either do best of the road, we can get away, scenic tours, regional trips. This stuff is preloaded. And this is the actual trip preloaded in here. So exactly, they just put a bunch in here. 
It's not specific to any area. It's just a bunch of trips in case you want to just do something random, pretty much. Back, back. Okay, so now we can go back out to menu. So that's pretty much navigation. There's a lot to it. The best way to learn it is just kind of play with it. Mess around with it. You'll get it eventually. <laughs> All right. The other thing you have is setup. Setup is going to be setup of the whole radio. In setup, under system, page two, there is a factory reset. If anything happens, go to the factory reset, do a reset, have it reboot. Then we have a favorite mode. So that favorite mode above there is actually this button right over here. So you can put whatever you want to on that button. So maybe you want this button to be your phone. Just switch this over to phone. So now if I take it over to... Bluetooth right there. So now this button will turn active or go to my phone every time I hit it. Then you just have a bunch of other random settings there for the system. You have video settings and then we have the JBL audio settings. So if I click on that, that's going to be your mid gain, your base gain, your equalizers. That's where we adjust all that stuff. On the turn dial here, if I push it once, that is muting. If I hold it, actually shuts the system down with the system shut down you're always going to have the screen up that tells you time date all that stuff will pop up here in a second if you don't want that you go down here so at night if that's really bright like that you can actually hit that switch we talked about down low that switches the batteries so if i switch it up to engine now now we killed all power to this so you won't have any of those screens on any of that stuff well hopefully that was helpful for you if you have any questions concerns, comments, give us a call here at Litson RV. Thanks.